What's up guys, Tamar Action here. One of the most famous quota in India is the Honda Activa. And now in 2020, well, we have a new and updated Activa model which is the Activa 6G. This is a pretty big update and also a very important one. So let's start things with the design of the new Activa. And here, even though visually there isn't any significant changes, there are some tweaks which are really good ones. And I feel this is a great move by Honda because Honda Activa is always a classic and it's always nice to keep that design like it is. And here that classic touch is still kept intact throughout. Starting with the front tire, it's 90mm thick and here we get the first change which is the rim size is now 12 inches. And actually we do have a second change here too and that is the front suspension is now a telescopic fork. Now these two changes does make a lot of difference and you will feel it when you ride through rough patches. It's like you can feel that ride quality difference and you won't notice much of the stress from the road because of these new bigger front wheel and also because of the excellent front suspension. And about the front panel, well it looks much familiar with these chrome accents and moving up we have the usual accustomed Activa headlight. From the front, the Activa 60 looks untouched other than some curves but like I said in the beginning, the design is simple but yet always a classic. Now here one thing you might have already noticed is that the headlight for some reason is halogen. Well that's because this is the standard version of the Activa 6G and this time that's a difference between a standard Activa 6G and the Deluxe Activa 6G. And here for the range and coverage, even though it's halogen, it's fine. You won't face a lot of difficulty while riding at night, but still I wish they did keep the LED one. But like I said, that's available only in the Deluxe variant and if you want that, you need to get the Deluxe variant. And actually this difference is there in the speedometer too, which is a fully analog one for the standard version compared to an analog digital one in the Deluxe variant. Now we'll be doing a detailed comparison between the standard and deluxe version of the Activa 60 pretty soon in which we'll take a close look at all the differences and if you don't want to miss that and also all the future contents please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. So now checking the handle of the Activa 60, well it's the usual scooter type handle with good selection of switch controls. This new trend from Honda is surprising but the best. On the left side you get the dim bar bright switch which has integrated pass light control and you also get the indicator toggle and horn. And on the right side you have the start stop switch. This is so much convenient and I love this approach. Now unlike its bigger brother which is the Activa 125 BSX, here with the Activa 60, no matter which version you get, there isn't an ideal start stop system. But I feel it's not a big mess because they did include all the much needed improvements and also did keep that full metal body. So yes, this new Activa 60 still has a metal body which is always the best based on durability. On taking a close look at the side panel, it's pretty clean which has always been the case with the Activa and all you get here is the elegant Activa 3D branding in chrome. Then checking the rear of the scooter, well here the most dominating part is the tail light with indicators as an integrated unit and about that one of the most important change can be seen which is the double lid external fuel filling system. This can be opened by firstly choosing the seat fuel option in the new lock system and then press the fuel option in the dual function switch. It's all automatic and with this you don't have to step off your scooter for filling fuel. And here Honda did keep the fuel tank size same as the previous Gen Activa at 5.3 liters. But Honda claims they did improve the mileage by 10% compared to the previous Activa which is the Activa 5G. Now we didn't get a chance to test the mileage of this new Activa 60 yet but that will be done in a future video. Then checking the rear tire, it's 90mm thick but the rim size is 10 inches and by the way both the front and rear tire are tubeless tires. And now for the grab bar for the pillion, it's silver colored and also simple yet comfortable for the pillion to hold. And lastly for the exhaust, it's the typical scooter type one which is a pretty compact one. So overall the design of the Activa 60 is still classic and I feel this design never gets old. It's a design that will always appeal the mass crowd and no matter which age category you are, the Activa will always be an ideal choice. And here I love this new blue color which is called glitter blue metallic. Trust me this looks so much better in person than what's seen in pictures and videos. And also by the way the number of color options available is 6. So all these changes are pretty good ones which does give more convenience but here with the new Activa 60, the drastic change has happened with the new BS6 engine. What we all loved in the Activa was its refined engine, right? And here this new 109.51cc fan cold 4 stroke PGM FI engine is much superior and I feel is one of the best in terms of refinement. You will notice it right from starting the scooter. And here once the engine tunes in into its set nature and when I took it for a ride, I loved every bit of the ride. I would say Honda has done it once more. It's like a new standard is set and this standard is a pretty big one to beat. The scooter doesn't show much aggression and I think that's the best part of it. The way speed is gained is very satisfying and here city overtakes are not at all an issue. Now this is a scooter which is 110cc and here for the max power it's 5.73kW at 8000 rpm and the max torque is 8.79Nm at 5250rpm. 
And both these figures are less compared to the previous Gen Activa, but I didn't notice much difference in terms of power and torque. And here as usual, since it's a 110cc scooter, the ideal speed range is from 0 to 70 km per hour. And in that speed range, the refinement is the best in its class, and I didn't notice any bit of vibrations. Well, you can push further above the 70 mark and hit the 80 plus mark, and even at that speed, the vibrations are not much, but still, like I always say, it's always best and safe to ride at control speed. And it's mainly because of the brakes and tires used. For the brakes used, no matter which model you pick, the front is 130mm drum and the rear is also 130mm drum and you get CBS as standard across both the models. And because of that, the braking is fine. I did try quick brakes in the 60s range and the scooter responded well with no skids or stopping issues. But above that speed mark, it might be like pushing the limits and hence if you want to do a panic brake, well then it's a risky thing. And here for the tires, even though not the thickest, they did grip well and therefore cornering again in the control speed range was fine. And overall, I feel all these combos used are actually not bad. It's because probably majority of the riders who buy a scooter will mostly use it for city rides and for that, this new Activa 60 is a champ. And here what has been tweaked like the engine, suspension, front rim and even the new seat did make the scooter a much better one than the previous model or maybe even one of the best in its segment. And the reason I say that is because here in the beginning, I did say the front telescopic suspension did improve the ride quality. And actually that combined with the new 3-step adjustable rear suspension and also the better seat with more than adequate cushioning, especially on the rider side, did improve the ride comfort. It's like a whole new experience. I didn't feel any discomfort even after riding for almost 40 km in a stretch. And here I feel that's all because of this new suspension, bigger front tire, better seat and also the main core thing which is the new BS6 engine. Now the seat is not the biggest but still it's comfortable for the pillion too and also even though the footboard is not massive, for me it was more than enough and I didn't experience any issues with the leg spacing and also from the handlebar. And here I would like to term the new Activa 60 as the best in terms of smoothness and overall ride experience. And now for the ride control, well since the scooter is not a massive one being just 107 kilograms, controlling it through traffic is the simplest thing. And one more thing to notice that the ground clearance is exceptional here at 171 mm. And because of this clearance, don't worry about the underside of the scooter and you can take it through some really bad conditions. And finally before our verdict, since it's a scooter, the storage space available is one, the underseat storage space which is not massive, but a surprise was waiting here, which is my large size fully covered helmet did fit in, which is great. And the second space available is the footboard, and here there is a front non-retractable hook, as well as a rare non-retractable one. And since the footboard spacing is adequate, you can hang in a grocery bag or something like that here. Now there wasn't a mobile charging socket or a glove box available, but I feel it's not a big missing factor. And overall the Activa 60 is a great update over the previous Activa 5G. It's like Honda did make the best change in the engine side and then by upgrading all the important things like suspension, tire size, seat, switch control, a proper external fuel supply system and also by keeping all the bits everyone loved about the Activa untouched, this is a great scooter for the mass crowd. And I feel this new Activa might again register a great number in sales figure because even the pricing seems to be well done. What I did mainly miss here with the standard variant of the Activa 60 is a LED headlight but given the fact that the pricing difference of the standard and deluxe variant of the Activa is not much, well, that's not at all an issue. And also for everyone who is from Kollam, Kerala, if you want to do a test ride or maybe make a booking for this new Activa 60 or even any Honda scooters or bikes, you can contact the number shown here. Now, after riding this new Activa 60, I was thinking how things change over time. The original Activa was surely a revolutionary change and here this new one with the new FI engine, I feel is the best update the Activa has ever gone through. That's all for this video, guys. Hope you liked it. And if it's the case, don't forget to hit the like button. See you again in the next one. Till then, bye and always ride safe.